So I woke up this morning, guys, and I was going through my phone like most of us do when you get up in the morning, and I noticed there was an Elegoo Mars P. Wait, what? So I most definitely didn't plan to do a video today, but when I got up this morning and I saw that there was an Elegoo Mars P, I thought, wow, this could be a game changer. Let's see what Elegoo came out with. And I'm pretty sure a lot of people were like, man, I just bought my Mars. And rightfully so. I mean, I saw quite a lot of people on the forums saying, whoa, I just got my Mars last week. Or I just got my Mars two days ago. Uh, I wish you guys had told me something about it. But the thing is, that's just the way it is with business. They're not going to tell you something new is going to come out. So you're going to wait and then decrease the sales that you're going to get for your existing product. So, yeah, I didn't expect them to make a big announcement before it came out. So, for those of you who just got your Mars, do you think you should have waited for the P? So, today I'm going to take a look at what's included in the P model and determine if it was really worth the wait or if you should have waited for the P model. I guess the P model is akin to the iPhone S. So, what will be included in the Mars P? For starters, I saw there's a new rail system. And while this might be good, the reports of having layer shifts on a Mars is so minuscule or so small that I'm doubting highly that this should have been an upgrade that they should have included. Maybe it was not as cost effective to throw it in so that it'll be worthwhile for those of you who actually wanted to upgrade to the Mars. But I'll wait. You do a search on the Elegoo Mars forum for layer shift and tell me how many posts you actually see. Now go over to another SLA printers forum and do a search for layer shift and then do your comparison. The fact of the matter is the Mars is an excellent printer when it comes to layer shifts. You really don't have that problem with the Mars. But of course we are going to welcome having a new rail system for the Mars P. So do we absolutely need a rail for the new updates? In my opinion, no. So to me, if you were upgrading just because you wanted that new linear rail system, you really shouldn't wait. One of the other upgrades is the UV array. And to be fair, this is an update that I see a lot of people have been doing when you're looking for some really fine detail around the edges of your LCD. Now, if you do a lot of very detailed work, having a UV array instead of one set of UVs with some mirrors would most definitely help. So this is a welcomed upgrade. Again, if you don't print all the way to the edges and you don't need those super fine details, then waiting around for this may not really be worth it. If you are really adamant about getting this, there are some aftermarket UV LED arrays that you can buy and can install in your printer. I'm not sure if I saw any for the Mars, but I know the Epax and the Photon, they both are available. So I don't see why you shouldn't be able to get an upgrade for the Mars for a UV array. Probably one of the most important upgrades that I was looking forward for was the inclusion of the carbon filter. That filter will really help if you do keep your Mars inside in an enclosed area where you are concerned about the resin fumes. I think that that is a worthwhile upgrade. And what it does include in the Mars P is a new seal around the cover and the actual filter assembly itself. Now an aftermarket system to install in your existing Mars may be difficult because if you look at the Mars P, there's some holes that are actually drilled in the chassis that allow the air to be sucked in and cleaned before exiting the Mars. So that might be a bit of a challenge, but I have seen some enterprising guys who have done some 3D prints to get a filter installed on your Mars. This may actually be something that you can look for on the forum if you really want a filtration system for your existing Mars. If I had to upgrade or I had to wait to upgrade, this would be the one reason I would wait to upgrade to the Mars P. One of the other upgrades that I've seen is the inclusion of the USB to the front of the printer. That is a welcome change. As you all know, it's very difficult to get around to the back, especially if your Mars is up against a wall to put that USB in. So that is definitely a welcome change. So one of the other things that was updated was the build plate, which personally I haven't had any problems with my build plate 
but I know some people tend to have a little bit of problems with their prints sticking to the build plate. So I haven't had much problem with this, but of course we will welcome an updated build plate. So yeah, that's, a, that's another good one. Another item that they upgraded was the tightening screws. Um, you had to use an Allen key before, and I think now you still need to use an Allen key, but the screws have been updated. They're a bit larger, so I think once you tighten them, and I think in the video, if you look at it, they actually said that once you tighten it, you shouldn't have a problem to re-level the bed every single time you take it off. So yeah, those screws most definitely, those are welcome. Now, the question comes down to, should you have waited for the Pro or the P, or can you do some of those upgrades yourself? So let's take a look at that. So the first thing is the USB. The USB has moved to the front of the printer. If you look on Thingiverse, there are quite a number of updates that you can do to move your USB from the back to the front. So that's an easy fix. And I think if you are looking to get the USB to the front or even to the side, that's an easy one. The second point is the linear rails. As I mentioned earlier, those linear rails, in my opinion, wouldn't help you that much because the Mars out of the box is an excellent printer with very little problems for layer lines. But if you want to upgrade that, I think that's gonna be a challenge because it does get right down into the belly of the beast and you're gonna to have to do a lot of hardware modifications. So I wouldn't really suggest that you upgrade to linear rails. It is going to be quite a challenge. So for that one, not so upgradable. So for the filtration system, I have seen some items on Thingiverse that you may be able to print to help with your filtration. And as I mentioned earlier, if I had to wait to upgrade this printer, that would be the only reason why I'd wait. But I also mentioned it is going to be a challenge to get the air out of the chamber into the filter and out of the printer. So you're going to have to get some work done and it may entail raising your cover and putting a seal around there with a suction and that may be a little more challenging. So again, yeah, doing an upgrade for your filtration system may be a bit challenging. If you really need to upgrade the UV array, that is also quite an undertaking. And personally, I don't think that you need to squeeze that ounce of detail if you are printing miniatures and some other small trinkets. I don't see the need to upgrade to a UV array. But if you're doing some really detailed prints like dental work, or you know jewelry, I would suggest that you do get a printer with the UV array. I've seen some really good results coming out of the Mars. So what you're gonna have to do is take a look at it and determine if the quality that you get out of the Mars is worth it for you. So there you have it guys. My very early morning roundup of what I think about the Mars Pro or the Mars P that should be coming out sometime in November. Should you upgrade? If you're a tinkerer, it may be worth it. If you need to get some of those new upgrades in your existing Mars, there are some options for you to follow. So take a look at it and you determine if you're going to wait for the Mars. If I were you, I would wait for a larger LCD printer that'll be coming out hopefully very soon from Elegoo. So let's keep an eye out for that. But in terms of the Mars P, I think it's a marginal upgrade, especially if you already own one. Have a good one guys and happy printing.